Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Penguin Cafe, and in this, I think all you have to do is like serve up food to customers in your little cafe and try to keep them happy and make money. And I'm not sure if there's any sort of upgrades or anything like that that you can actually like use the money for, but we'll find out here in a second. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I like all the cartoony graphics here on the homepage. I like that there's like this cook in the upper left corner who looks like super angry. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's get started, see what this is all about. Okay, so here's stage one. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen whole stages in this game. Possibly more. I don't know if this is just like world one, but let's go ahead. Let's start level one. Find out what this game's all about. Welcome to the Penguin Cafe. Select a happy customer. Oh, hi there, happy customer. That's you. Select a nice, clean, free table. That's that one. That's for you, happy customer. All right, yeah, look over the menu. Welcome, welcome. Oh, if I click there, I came over and I got their order. I just did that, I guess, on accident, but they want, I don't even know what that is. It looks like a clam shell or something. Take the scrumptious sandwich from the counter. Wait, that's not what they ordered, cook. Are you, are you inebriated, sir? Uh, uh okay, and place it on the table, sure, but this is the wrong order. Yeah, they're pretty ticked off by that, whoops. Oops is right. Bob, <laughs> the chef, is a bit distracted right now. Bob, get your stuff together, man. Come on. It won't happen again. Okay, toss the sandwich into the trash. Oh, that's a waste of a sandwich. We should force Bob to eat it since he made it wrong. All right, good work. Bob's working on that muffin. Oh, that's a muffin. <laughs> okay, that's a muffin. It doesn't look like a muffin. It looks like a something, like an open clam shell or something. No idea. Order up. All right, Bob, you got it right this time. Let's go, we're burning daylight, okay? Here you go, angry customer. Enjoy, enjoy the muffin. I hope it's so tasty, I hope it's so good. Oh, you're only halfway through eating it. Hurry up, you're so slow. Oh my gosh, do we really just sit here and like watch them eat? Now what? Oh, okay, they gave us uh, coins. Nice, all right, nice tip, and you've made a little profit. Oh, okay, so in the bottom right here, it says 15 of 10, so we have to make at least 10 coins to hit our goal. We got 15. That's good. Got some extra money. Okay. Remember, slow service, tiny tips, speedy service, shiny tips. That's a good rhyme. All right, this doesn't seem too hard. I'm sure that I say that now, and it's going to get harder as we go. And we look so happy. Man, day one complete. Three stars. All right, so that was the tutorial. What's this little shopping bag thing? I'm assuming it's a store. Okay, shop, uh, ice pea blender, give Bob a new super fast blender to help him cook twice as- Oh, okay, so there are power-ups. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive though. We only got 15 coins, there's no way we can afford those right away. Oh, that's cool, the penguin restaurant actually goes through the water. It's on like a little iceberg, so it goes from stop to stop, serving as it goes. People don't come to it, it goes to people. All right, awesome. That's like the best of like Postmates or Uber Eats or whatever. All right. Oh, little story thing, okay. Order up, Bob. Give me a double cup sundae with a dusting of cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, sugar. Oh man, Bob, Bob's got some bling on and an eye patch. He looks very angry. A chick party again, Berta. You know I hate children. No, just some regular folks. We'll be all right, Bob. Something good will come along. Okay. That's neat that there's little story segments like that. Your goal today is 15 coins. We got that in the tutorial, tutorial like super easy. All right, sir, so have a seat here. Enjoy your stay here at the Penguin Cafe. I'll come over and I'll attend to you. I'll be right next to you. Yeah, you want an ice cream. All right, Bob, make the ice cream. I'll go down here. Oh, I, I just noticed I got little ice skates on. That's so funny. Okay, here you go. I think I got ice skates on. I'm at least like sliding along the floor. Okay, that was easy. There you go. Oh, I just noticed in the top left there's like a clock now. Oh, new customer. Sit there. Oh, okay. So, um, each customer takes up a whole table. I feel like if we're a cafe, we should probably have more tables than, than this one table. Maybe we'll be able to buy more as we go. Oh, we already hit our goal, by the way. Nice. Okay. So go down here. Be extra efficient here. So that clock there in the upper left, that indicates, uh, when the cafe is going to close, it looks like. All right, well, eat up quicker, like, get faster. I need to make a lot of money, all right? 
Stop eating so slow. Okay, there's another customer. It's the same guy from before. It's the same dude from before. All right, sir. Oh, oh, I think I just barely made that one. The closed gates came up. All right, sir, you better order quick. We're technically closed. You want a cheese sandwich? All right, that's fine. That's easy. Bob, you better not mess it up this time. Come on, Bob. Good job, Bob. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so there's like some strategy to this. You got to figure out like how to prioritize your like placement on the map here. Like when Bob has an order coming up, I can just like wait down here for him. If I'm waiting for the customer and wait over here, grab my money. And it looks like the cafe is closed for the day. Three stars out of three. We tripled the goal as well. We got 45 coins, which means we have a total of 60 coins, which is nowhere close to being able to buy anything. So let's just go straight back to the map here. I like this game so far. It's really cute. It's really fun. It's super simplistic, but I definitely have a feeling that it's going to get more chaotic as time goes on. Again, I hope that we get more tables. I feel like we're probably not a great cafe if we only have the one. But uh, yeah. All right. So... <laughs> It's got to load the map again here, but we'll get back to the map. We'll get on to the next level. We'll uh, have more dishes to serve, I'm assuming, at some point as well. I don't know. I don't know how it works. We'll have to find out. Okay, so stage three. Hello. Oh, another story thing. Oh, it's a walrus guy. Ahem. Good day. Welcome to Penguin Cafe. Table for one? Good day, madam. Would you happen to be Miss Berta Barnacle? You found her, Mr. Blubberton. Blake Blubberton of the Northern Frost Blubbertons. That's a good name for a, a walrus. Curator of Blubberton Biogeographical Bipolar and Boreal Institute. <laughs> that fancy place across the strait? Good for you. <laughs> Have you heard of the legend of the Ark of Anab? Uh, Ananab? Oh, it's banana backwards. <laughs> no bells ringing, hon. Well, I happen to have a map to said legendary arc. And? Beneath the arc of Ananab, one can find the ingredient. Oh, I like the musical. I got a kitchen full of ingredients, sweetheart. Ah, but the ingredient <laughs> is said to be irresistible. I guess this map ain't free. Ho, ho, ho. I am afraid not. <laughs> I like this. This is super funny so far. How much? 10,000 coins. Oh my gosh, that's so much. That's like so many months worth of wages. Well, thanks for your time, Mr. Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob Blubberton. But I don't have that kind of cash lying around. You expect me to just set off into the sunrise looking for customers? As you wish, Miss Barnacle. But I urge you con to, uh, to consider my offer. How did you even hear of me? Like we're a tiny, tiny cafe. Why would you like pick me to do this task of greatness? What a weird guy. What a weird walrus. Walruses are weird. Oh, we got two tables now. Your goal today is 65 coins. All right. That's a lot of coins. I think we can do it, though. All right. You sit up there. I'll wait by you. Yes. Yes, yes. Give me your order. Yep. You want a muffin. Okay, now I know that that's a muffin. We wait down here for the muffin. Muffin time. All right. Are we going to get a second customer while we wait? Yes, I bet we will. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, hi. You can sit down right there while this uh, fine young fella finishes the muffin here. Hey -o. Here you go. You want an ice cream? All right. This guy's going to finish first, I bet, before the ice cream's made. We'll grab our coins. You sit down. Uh, we're going to grab this. We're going to give that to you. Yep. And then we're going to wait over here for your order. Hello. You want grilled cheese? Bob, get to work. Come on. Let's get a fried cheese sandwich. Okay, grab that. Throw that at you, uh, fortune teller penguin lady, <laughs> whatever you are. Oh my gosh, there's so many customers. They're going to get mad. Oh no, did I just let that guy budge that lady? I hope not. I hope not. That's that's fine. Ma'am, you're going to have a table soon enough, I promise you. All right, Bob's, Bob's working. We get that tip. All right, you sit down first, and then uh, Bob is going to... Wait, don't be mad. I literally just got the juice for you, you butthead. All right, you want a juice as well? They all want the juice. I want the juice. Okay, uh, restaurant's closed. Restaurant's closed. Drop that off. Why wouldn't you drop it off at the front of the table? Why would you drop that off at the... Whatever. All right. We got 15. We still got the full 15. Hey, don't be mad. Don't be pissy. You came in during closing time, sir. All right? Yeah. You came in during closing time, M Mr. Muffin Wanter. Okay, Bob. You working back there, bud? There you go. Here we go. Last customer of the day, even though you're a grumpy butt. 
even though you came in during closing time, which is super rude. You know, I know that it says that we're open until 6 p.m., but if you come in at 5.59, that's the rudest thing you can do to restaurant staff, so how dare you? Still got the full tip, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you so much for your patronage. We do appreciate it. So we got 90 coins there. That's pretty dang good. So we got 150 total. We definitely don't have nearly enough to buy any of this stuff. But I feel like if you keep playing this game, if you keep getting more and more money, especially when there's that many customers, and if you get maximum tips, and I'm assuming you can go back to like previous levels. Yep, you can go back to previous levels, it looks like. And you can probably farm coins by doing that. You'll be able to eventually buy the map to the ingredient of Anabnab or whatever the heck it was called. But anyway, guys, I think that's all the time I have for this game. You guys get the gist of what happens in this. I'm assuming there's probably more recipes, more customers, more tables, more complications, more funny dialogue that happens in this game. But you'll have to check it out yourselves. It was super funny, super cute. And again, I love these types of simplistic games that are just sort of hard to master. They give you a good challenge but you never feel like you're so overwhelmed by the mechanics of the game itself i like that a lot about these types of games but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me make food for these customers if you did please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing you Bye bye <laughs>